It started out as a typical Saturday morning in Jamaica. After all, we're the land of wood and water. St. Thomas, no different. We have a lot of rivers and we have, a, and we have the coast. Not knowing that this would be the last Saturday morning for a young man that I know. I didn't even realize he was on the beach with me. Bye bye Leroy. Well, let me tell you about this entire Saturday and what I learned from it. Hi everyone, I'm CNJ and welcome to CNJ Jamaica. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah. My sister came to me on this fine Saturday morning and said, let us go to the river. And I said, you know what? Let's go. So we put on our swimming gear and we went on the roads. And by the way, guys, look at the progress on our St. Thomas roads. This is in Albion. One side was just finished yesterday. But as we progressed further on the same roadway, there it is, we're driving on dirt. This is just past the, the Yalas Bridge. Driving on dirt as majority of our St. Thomas roads still are. So we went up to Poor Man's Corner because we know that there's a, a nice river in the Hackies area. Last time I went there, it was during a drought, so it was kind of, you know, not a lot of water there, but I was hopeful since we had so much rain of recent times. So after getting to, for those of you who may want to find this river, when you get to the Arties area, let me just say, when you go to get to Poor Man's Corner in, in, in Yalas, you turn uh, left on your way to Hartie, right? And when you get, after you pass Hartie's, you look for your first right turn, and we take you to this river. Just ask a local for direction. All right, and they will help you. So you see our roads, you see the conditions we're under. So you see when we get to a nice little stretch that has asphalt, we drive. We go. Go, 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 go. All right, so. Now, it was good to, you know, be out with family. And we're going to the river, as many of us in St. Thomas do. So after we got to the last place, the car can go. We stopped, we parked. And then we took a little hike. The walk has a begun. Hike up to our destination, River Time. The walk yes. has begun. And we loved it because you know we try to exercise every day, and this was a nice Saturday morning hike up the hill. You know, one step in front of another, uh, sharing memories, look, having conversations, and going up the hill to this nice body of water. But you know. This is the first lesson I learned on Saturday. Everything is not what it seems. Things that you know these things, you know, but every time life throws it back at you, you learn the lesson again. Because while walking up this hill, or let me say this mountain, we were hearing strong sounds of water, nice gushing, nice flow of water. And we were saying, yes, it is going to be good. You see me with my nice towel there because I had my towel because I said yes whenever after I finish in the water I'm going to wash off and dry off and feel good. Up, up, but it's the away. good thing about the river water, it's not salty. You know, feel not not burn you. Just it's just up there, coolness continue. all the way. So I was loving it and I was the looking sign forward already? to oh. enjoying the nice body of water. Alright? But life is never as it seems sometimes because when we saw this sign saying no no swimming we said what well, enough water got there this place but then as we continue to stroll up the hill hearing the sound of the water getting even stronger we were in for a a rude awakening I hear people are come back to me say, and there's a shop right at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'm buying things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Are the water that they carry on a Kingston? No, no, sir. So, my father Kingston, yellow silver. Uh huh. And black river. I'm going to show you this is the water. Look at people are down there, sir. Look at people, sir. Uh huh. Yeah. We walked, we followed the path, yes? We heard the loud sound of gushing water. But then we realized what we were hearing was this plant, this mini reservoir here, that was taking the water directly from the river and taking it into Kingston. Hmm. And what we heard a little of as we were coming up was where the local seems to have taken off a little section of the pipe for them to get a little water. So we said, no, let us go down into the riverbed itself. And you know it's a water sometimes. Okay. And we realized how dry From everything rock, was. Then, yeah. <laughs> we went down into right, the river. From the source, no water is there. Little puddles of stagnant water. Hmm. Oh Lord. That is a story in itself. It must be a trickle. A rain witness this. See the see the look water in it in it there. Stagnant water. Uh, even uh, even where the fall there, which part the fall? See, there's the river there. Oh, no, no. Yeah, man. People come in here, so I should come sit down here, okay? Mm-hmm. Look there. Look a bit of water around. Mm, there really is none. Wow. Well, if you tell you, even the little that is here, they might drain it they're out. They might drain it out. Oh, yeah. It's true. But it's like looking like I'm done. Yeah. The mango tree, yes, sir. When you hear the end of the sea attack, uh -huh, there is a crisis. Yeah, so there is a crisis. People just look from the dam. People just look from the hermitage dam. So you say, here feeds where? Mm-hmm. And maybe there is something more somewhere. This is the bottom. What they at the top? What they at the top? Unless them bang. We found water, yes. What was water that was being piped into Kingston? So you always hear local community people saying that they don't have their rivers that they don't have as much water. In St. Thomas anymore because it's all been piped to Kingston. And there is an yeah. example of the pipe. And there it is being powered. But the only little water was just that it was going to Kingston. So my first lesson for the day was things are never as they seem. But you know, while going down back to where the car was, not a parked, complete loss. I kept on saying to myself, communing with nature. I think something further up, you know, I think something further up. And that leads me to my second lesson of the day. No, she said, I asked her if it's 30, and she said less than that. Then I walk kind of something that, yeah, yeah. At the water. Because there's nothing over the riverside, you know. There is nothing. 
Oh. That's why we get tricked. Mm. But it's the north I would in here. Mm -mm. So Are you hearing water? Oh. So you tell us up at the top, you realize that this one has a cover. Yeah. So that cover is gone. Yeah, it's rotten off. Yeah, that's rotten off for people moving. We found out from persons that we met when we got back to the car that we didn't go far enough up the mountain. And there was indeed a fall, but it was very tricky to get there. So we're going to go there another Saturday. So for those of you who are interested in going to that mini falls in Artes, St. Thomas, you just uh, drive to Poor Man's Corner in, in St. Thomas, uh, drive up to Artes, and then us ask for directions. They'll show the turn off and then show you that 15 minutes hike up to the falls. But then you have to be a little adventurous because you have to go up the mountain, then through a little track before you get there. So I'll show you that another day, another Saturday. But we decided that since we had made that walk, we weren't going to do it again. And we decided to go somewhere else. So we went to the beach because that's near St. Thomas again. If at first you don't succeed, you try and try and try again. No river, but see it is. <laughs> that's right, that's right, cool the whole body. When I got to the beach, I saw five persons. Nice young couple enjoying the water and three young men. Now I wasn't wearing my glasses, so you know I can't see so far without the glasses. But I didn't really see who the young men were. But the, the beach there hey. at Russell's, we went over there. And it was so nice because we could go far out into the water and it's still nice. Nice, 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 I nice. I sat nice. on the beach, the water just kept going on my leg, you know, waking up my hair, it was black sand. And I saw these three young men and they were just enjoying themselves. They were, you know, in the water, eh? A lot of games what? together. And we weren't even paying them any attention it's because they were just three typical Nearer to the rocks. Men. Just enjoying the Saturday morning in the ocean, keeping nice and cool. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that at one hour after leaving the beach, I would hear that one of these young men, life was no longer. Oh, it's as if I can't find words to say that one of these young men would have lost his life. It is so sad. They were just there, sometimes going up on the rocks and jumping <laughs> down, or just enjoying the water. And I thought they were there with the couple that was there. So it wasn't anything to see that the young man. I thought it was just a family, a group of people together. Not knowing that it was one of the young men from my church. Hmm. It is sad, but I pray for his mother. I pray for her strength. And this is my second lesson for the day. <laughs> my third lesson, I should say, for the day. Enjoy life as you see it right now. Because you never know when it will end. I say the channel is talking about inspiration, motivation. I try every day, no matter how small it be, to have a little excitement, to have a little fun. Even, it, even if it is to just get up a Saturday morning and say, let us go to the river, let us go to the beach, let us go to dinner as a family. Mm? People, this, that's what this channel is all about. Motivation, inspiration, and especially for the people of St. Thomas. Let us enjoy life as much as we can. Let us stop blaming each other for things. Let us start arguing. Let us just show appreciation. Let us just love each other because life is short. 
So everything is not what it appears to be. Sometimes you have to go a little further to achieve what you want, but also enjoy every day to its fullest because we never know when it will end. You know, I'm supposed to get wet. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From where comes my help? My help comes from God. And it's the same God who made the heaven. He made the earth. He made me. He made you. So I thank God for being my first motivation. I thank family for being my second source of inspiration. I thank God for making me the way he did because I motivate myself every day. So no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the issues are, I will continue to strive because I am most grateful for God for everything. So guys, what's your source of motivation? What keeps you going? Get to know what this is. Thank you, Lord. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you next time on CNG Jamaica.